I came here to a, a cemetery in Nottingham just a few days before uh, the 100th anniversary of Armistice. And I came here to kind of tell a story about a man named Eric Costa Skirfield. So, Skirfield was in the Royal Marines and he decided to, when his term of enlistment was up, go and volunteer in Kurdistan. Specifically, he wasn't fighting for the Iraqi Kurdish forces. He was fighting for the Kurdish forces in Rojava. And if you look on his gravestone, it says, killed in action in Rojava. This was uh, specifically the Yepege. The Yepege. Uh, these are anarchist, libertarian, communist groups. Uh, they're fighting for independence. And it's part of a greater Kurdistan movement. You have the Peshmerga in Iraq. Uh, that have evolved from an earlier group that fought against Saddam Hussein and kind of got us involved in the region. And then you have Northern Kurdistan in Turkey and Western Kurdistan in uh, Northern Syria. And uh, the Skirfield went and fought in Syria. He was one of the early fighters and he was actually a very elite fighter. Uh, I think it's important to tell this story because we are now criminalizing Kurdish fighters who go and kill ISIS. He was killed by ISIS and when these people come home, they are given sentences for terrorism, they are given jail time, they are put on no-fly lists. When people came home from the Spanish Civil War, uh, after World War II, fighting fascists, fighting Franco, fighting for an independent Catalonia they were treated as heroes because they went and they fought fascism, they fought totalitarianism for free. They were volunteers. Skirfield was a volunteer. He did it because he thought it was right and he died for it. And he's treated by, as a hero by many people, but now the Kurds coming home are treated terribly. They're treated as criminals. And uh, ISIS volunteers coming home, they're treated as poor people who were corrupted by ISIS propaganda. They were treated as people who deserve to be rehabilitated and given welfare and given government housing. There's, there's many British volunteers and there's many American volunteers who are treated as terrorists. And I just think it's a double standard. I think it's a double standard how we had volunteers in foreign wars that used to be treated as liberators and as heroes. And hell, the US is a... Uh, the Yepege and the Yepege are the original governing forces of Rojava. They're their military. Rojava is an anarchist state. And in their recent constitution, they declared the Syrian Democratic Forces as the legitimate military uh, and said that the YPG and the YPJ were kind of preliminary militaries. They were militias, the People's Protection Units. Uh, we are propping up the Syrian Democratic Force, the SDF, and this is shown on propaganda leaflets that we drop, telling ISIS, get out of your capital, get out of Raqqa. And Raqqa was liberated. And it was taken over by the Syrian Democratic Forces, the more mainstream branch of what began as the YPG and the YPJ. And yet we're criminalizing them, so we're helping them. But at the same time, we're making the people go and help them terrorists. I think it's a double standard, and I think it's important to tell this story right before uh, right before Armistice Day because people like Skirfield are heroes and they don't deserve to be treated the way they're being treated. Uh, I guess that's all I gotta say.